how to start the retirement process. Seven things that you should know before retiring. Are you considering retiring maybe to Arizona? Well, before you retire anywhere, here are some advice from people that have already retired. Things that they wish they knew before retiring. First, you must determine what you want your lifestyle to be. Are you going to be traveling? Are you going to be out golfing or doing crafts? Or maybe just at home gardening or playing cards with friends? You need to determine what your lifestyle will be so that you can determine how much money it's going to take. So you can determine how much money it'll take to live your lifestyle and where you should live. So you're going to want to know how you're going to be filling your day. Are you going to try something new? It's not just about filling your days with joy. It's about crafting a life that's rich in purpose and connection. For instance, volunteering, teaching, or even diving back into learning can really add layers of fulfillment to your days. Imagine the joy of giving back, meeting new friends, and even expanding your horizons with new experiences. Maybe you want to play pickleball or crafts. You might want to go to a 55 plus community. Or maybe you would like arts and ballet. You may want to be close to downtown. Or maybe you like the spring training. You want to be in Mesa or on the west side. Knowing your lifestyle will help determine which part of town will be best for you. You're going to be shocked at how much stress level will go down when you're no longer accountable to your boss or job. Now, that doesn't mean that you shouldn't get a part-time job. A part-time job can fill the income gap. It can get you out of the house and meet other people. You know, second on the list is to make sure you find some purposeful activities. As mentioned earlier, this could be volunteering, uh, perhaps at a hospital or a dog shelter or a kids program or perhaps delivering food to the needy or volunteering at activities hosted by your church. Nothing is better for your mental and emotional state than helping others. It'll also help you keep you busy and give you the opportunity to meet other people. You can also teach or go back to school yourself. Learn a new language, a musical instrument. Just let your imagination go wild. Third and most important, plan a few years ahead. This way you can track what you really spend so that you know exactly what your budget will be. You can also assure that you'll have time to get rid of your, all of your high interest debt. You're going to be able to determine where you want to live and keep an eye out for homes available in that area. You really want to research the area, the cost of living, not only of housing, but insurance, groceries. Planning is your compass. A few years before you start, chart your financial course. Understand your expenses, tackle your debt, and get a clear picture of your retirement haven. Now, and let's not forget the essentials, health care, Medicare, and ensuring that your nest egg is organized and accessible. To do this, you really want to get organized. Write down where all your accounts are, how much you have in each one, how much do you need to withdraw each year, and if possible, consolidate the accounts so that it's easier to keep track of. Fourth, while you're planning ahead, make sure you understand what Medicare covers and what health care that you should have. The plans really vary so much. It's really best to talk with an advisor that can help you decide which program is best for you based on your situation. And remember, there's no cost to have one of these services. Knowing what your health care needs are may also help you determine where you would like to live. Now, fifth, make sure you know what your social security benefits are. What are they going to be at 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, and 67? If you could retire early, great. You rarely hear anyone say that they regret retiring early. You never know what's going to happen, right? So especially when it comes to your health. You'll need to plan how much withdrawal is required from your retirement account. Remember that you need to make the withdrawal each year. So if you retire early, there's a cap on how much you can make before they start taking $1 away for every $2 that you make. And that cap right now is $21,240. do not worry too much about making a mistake. If you decide that you made a mistake before for the first year anniversary, you can have a do-over. You can stop taking Social Security. Then when you reach the full age, you add the number of months that you collected Social Security, and that is when you can start taking Social Security again. 
and there will be no penalties. Now also, the year that you're retiring, you can make more money up to a couple months before you get that first check. And also the last year before you hit that full age, of, like for me, it would be 67. You can also make up to 56,520 before they take, start taking that money back. And then it's only one of every $3. So check with a professional for all the details. You know, the rules are always changing and you really need to know what the current rules are. Another way to save money is that when you turn 65, make sure that you apply for the senior property valuation protection option. This is the senior freeze. It's available to those who have a qualifying income. Thinking about income, note that Arizona does not tax Social Security benefits. And while you're starting early, don't forget to make sure that your health is a priority. For a successful retirement, you have to consider time, money, and health. Make health a priority through exercising, eating, writing, getting plenty of fresh air and sunshine. This will help keep your body and mind in top health so that you can really enjoy your retirement. Okay, six. When planning, don't forget to sit down with your partner. You want to make sure that you're both on the same page. What are your expectations? You don't want to get under each other's nerves. Will you travel? Will you play cards? What kind of money will you spend? Where will you be making friends? You have to make sure that you're on the same page. Seven, make sure you have an emotional support group. Now, this could be someone at church, your family, a retirement group, or social group. You know, retirement is a change. Any time that we make big changes, there's going to be emotional ups and downs. And this is even more more important if you're single when you retire. So if Arizona's call is irresistible and you're dreaming of retirement filled with sunshine, connections, and endless possibilities, let's talk. I'm here to help you unlock the door to your next great adventure. This is Diana Benson with A Great Escape, guiding you home to the retirement of your dreams. Until next time, let's make every moment count.